with you live on the show. Welcome back to the Experience Pros Radio Show. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to join us for ours. Angel Tassie, Eric Kramer, helping you get your business right. You know, if you've gone online and you are a small business, you know that there's a lot of competition going on out there. Wouldn't you love to have a search engine optimized, friendly website, something that was powerful, cost effective, 100% customizable that allowed you to compete in this competitive work envi or online environment? Yes. Well, our next guest is Damon Burton, an entrepreneur, consultant, and president of SEO National and also Utah Sites. Damon Burton, welcome to Experience Pros. Thanks for having me. Damon, very nice to have you along with us. As we go into the holiday season, what do you see as being some of the, the top SEO mistakes? And for those who are not uh, cued into the vernacular, SEO, search engine optimization, being found on the search engines, what are some of the mistakes that people uh, make and how can we avoid them in order to maximize our sales? The first thing is to have realistic expectations, especially going into the holiday season. SEO is such a slow process that if you haven't started already, then chances are you're too late for this holiday season. There are a few things you guys talked about repurposing earlier. Same thing applies to SEO. Repurpose blogs and infographics, infographics into videos. Anything you can do to crank out media now is your last shot specifically for SEO this season. When you say SEO, it takes such a long time to achieve. Um, Why is that? It, yeah. Sure, yeah, good question. Um, it's a pretty common question. There's so many moving parts in SEO that it takes time to create the content. You know, you have to research it, then draft it. It takes time to publish it. And then it takes a while for Google to say, hey, we found this new content. What do we want to do with it? And that's only one type of content out of dozens. So same thing applies for a blog, full cycle of waiting for it to find it and decide what to do with it. Put out a press release, full cycle, wait for Google to find out, find it, decide what to do with it. So you just multiply that by all these different types of content, and it just takes forever. All right. So let me follow up with a, uh, another question, and that is when you hear people say, um, I can get you on page one of the Google in, in uh, 24 hours, 48 hours, is that just hooey? It is. I'll probably get a lot of hate from others in the industry, but it, it just won't happen. Anybody that tells you SEO is fast, especially 24 hours, it's just a sales pitch. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So, I mean, this is, you know, a lot of small business owners, you know, we're kind of, I don't know, I think throwing spaghetti on the wall and seeing what sticks. And, and so if it's taking a long time and, you know, we, we're kind of this instant gratification, you know, society, I want to see it. I want to see it now. So now I'm going to go in, I'm going to change it. I'm going to have my, my, I'm put new pictures up. Now we're going to do something different because that didn't work. Did it not work or did we just not give it enough time? Just didn't have enough time. And it's just like you said, instant gratification. It's the way of the world nowadays. But SEO, there's no shortcuts. You're either putting in the time yourself or you're paying somebody else to put in the time. And, you know, we, we tell clients when we board a new client that even though it may be a month to month contract, don't commit unless mentally you can commit and to at least a year's worth of efforts because it's it's just a slow play and, and that's the only way it works in the world of SEO. You know, Damon, we we actually agree with you. We've seen Absolutely. we've seen this happen and we've seen a lot of entrepreneurs just get really impatient from it, but we've also seen it really come to fruition. G can you give us some just best practice tips on, you know, SEO tactics, either that we should be doing or just things that we definitely need to be to stop doing? Yeah, first thing is to come up with a strategy. The best way to get your path going is to do your research first. Front load all of your research and it'll make everything else easier later. So what I mean by that is come up with a content calendar. I'm a huge advocate. That's what we do for all our clients. We spend the first two weeks doing nothing but industry research and we come up with a 52-week content calendar. So that way you know what you're going to write about for a year in advance. And you can always pivot as the industry evolves or, or news comes out and you want to jump into new topics. But at least that way you have direction. Because if you try and write every Friday, it ain't going to happen. <laughs> right. You need to know all of your topics ahead of time. And then from there, it's smooth sailing because you, you did all the research. You know you have good topics. And then back to the repurposing thing, you write your blog and then you – the content is good, so you can repurpose it, and you should have an equally good infographic. Same thing, you can repurpose that, and you should have an equally good content-rich video. 
and you can just repurpose it all over and over and over uh, without having to put in as much time because you did the front loaded research. Lo- love all of this uh, information. Uh, Damon, one more question for you, and then we're going to get some contact information from you. What are some, some must have SEO softwares and, in, and maybe even more importantly, WordPress plugins? I'm glad you mentioned WordPress. Uh, WordPress, I'm, uh, I love WordPress, uh, especially if it's a non e commerce site. If there are e commerce sites, there's other you know, comparable candidates. But uh, e commerce or not, WordPress is at the top of my list. Okay. You got to have Yoast SEO. Um, that will help search engines better understand the structure of your website and the little important variables within it. Um, you got to have some sort of XML site map plugin in it to tell search engines where the content throughout your website is instead of them having to trip along the way what, hoping what, to find uh, it. An XL, what is that? XML sitemap. Sitemap. So when gotcha. search engines come to your website, they just kind of follow the pages and then hopefully they find it all. But what an XML sitemap does, it says, here, Google, I'm telling you where all my content is. And you just give a, an outline for them. Gotcha. All right. Well, Damon, how do you want our audience to connect with you? This is good stuff. Uh, SEOnational.com, uh, all the social media channels. It's Facebook.com slash SEOnational. Same with Twitter slash SEOnational. And uh, 1-855-SEO-N-A-T-L. Give that number one more time. 1-855-SEO-N-A-T-L, short for national. There, there we go. go. Thank you, Damon. A final word of wisdom for people that maybe you just want to see them change or stop doing on their websites right now? Yes. Stop stuffing keywords. doesn't work anymore. Uh, Google's smarter than that, and you get what you pay for. Like I said, you're either putting in the time or you're paying for somebody else's time, so you gotta you got to wait for it. Awesome. Well awesome. Said. Thank you so much for being with us today. Thanks. My pleasure. All right. There we go. That was uh, Damon, and I'll tell you what, he, he's a smart guy. He knows what he's doing, and the uh, the idea is, you know, you can't you can't speed up the the business of, of you know, progress. Well, when you think about the millions and millions and millions and millions and millions of options, you know, anytime that you Google something, how many options come up? Uh, millions. Millions. Hundreds right? of millions. And so this is this is what we're competing against. Yeah. And and so it's kind of like going into, you know, into the biggest crowd. You know, imagine you fill the stadium, right? With with you know, filled with people. Right. And then your brand was one of them. Yeah. Find me. Yeah, right? <laughs> Good luck with that. Unless you're Eric, you can always find Angel somehow in the stadium, but I leave clues. You do leave right? clues. And that's another piece. We got to leave clues. We got to leave clues all around the internet. But just picture that. You, your brand being represented in a stadium, that's the Google, and your brand is out there. And so finding clues, more and more impact, and it, it takes time. And then it bubbles up. And the next thing you know, you're a whole cheer crowd and you're doing the wave. <laughs> Sorry, I just, had a, I just had a whole thing happen you're there in, the in my head. Yeah. All right, <laughs> gang, we're going to take a quick break, get a, a couple of commercials in. Don't go anywhere, though. We've got more positive business talk just ahead. We invite you to do business with the people who do business with the pros. America's home for positive business talk. You're listening to the Experience Pros radio show. Contact them on 